Hello and welcome to Joe's Crafty Cauldron, a channel about crafting and Harry Potter, primarily Harry Potter at the moment. And today I have a new video for you, which is another Primark haul. Um, I was hoping to follow the tradition that I seem to have formed, which is I seem to be doing a Primark haul every two months, but I've been to Primark quite a lot this last month so unfortunately I'm bringing it forward a month I say bringing it forward I will probably do another one in a month um so this is the April 2018 Primark haul it's nearly the end of the month it is the 24th so we've got what six days seven days left of this month so I'm hoping that I have no plans to go to Primark until we're getting, going again next month. Um, so I have got, I think, three Primark trips down here beside me and a little bit up here. Um, if you watch my watch, see my, or follow me even, on Instagram, you may have seen a little sneak preview um, before I've started even recording this um, of what I purchased today so this is why i'm recording it today is because i went into a big primark today where they had lots of new stuff so anyway enough waffling from me um this is a primark haul normally my primark hauls tend to be mainly harry potter there is a little bit of non harry potter stuff in here a little bit disney some just normal stuff um but anyway let's get on with it so the first trip was to Kingston. I'll just show you my bag. This is this is another Primark purchase, but from quite a while ago. So this is my Sneezy the Dwarf um, Primark tote bag. Bought it ages ago. Um, I'm just literally going to go through this bag for you. Um, so it's kind of half and half, I think, this one. So it's a nice, good balance between normal and Harry Potter. So the first thing we have is a, a nightshirt whatever you want to call it, a nighty. So it says, sorry, it's got the label of my size on it, which clearly says I'm a 14 to 16 and I don't care. Um, and so it says waiting for my letter from Hogwarts and it is completely covered in Hedwigs. And I love this Hedwig. I think this is the cutest Hedwig. Um, and it says on the neck band, it's got property of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and wizardry on there so that's the first one and that was five pounds so there's a that's what it looks like in miniature <laughs> so that was the first thing i bought then continuing the harry potter theme they have these flasks which is very hard to see because obviously it is see-through i could have put a drink in it but i didn't think ahead that much um, but that says it's got Hogwarts in gold and the crest and the motto. And that is, was three pounds. So it's a printed water bottle. That's what they're calling it. We then have going non-wizardry. And just because I liked it. And I've got, I've got a watermelon dress. I probably won't wear it at the same time as the dress. But I've got this cardigan, which I'm not going to show for very long covered in watermelons really bad lighting it's got watermelons all over it it's mint green i love these cardigans because they're just so easy to put on with a pair of jeans or a skirt and put over a vest top or whatever um 100 cotton and where is the label of how much it is i've got quite a few of these now actually uh, eight pounds i've got quite a few i think you've seen me wearing them on other videos then the next one we have again it's the same but it's got it's pale pink and it's got dandelions on it i love dandelions absolutely love dandelions i'm really weird i don't know why i love dandelions again that was also eight pounds then i'm trying to get more summery clothes because i'm wearing black and the sun is out and yeah we need more summer in my life. 
Okay, then the next thing is another non-Harry Potter, but it's very sparkly. So I love, I'm going through a rose gold phase as well. Very rose gold phase. So they have these little makeup bags which have which are like a a nude kind of colour with some beige and some cream and some rose gold just scattered in it. It's it's really nice. It's got two two pockets to it. There they are split, so it's not like a there is a inside to that. So it's two pockets, which I really like. Just gonna put my makeup in so I can separate it into what type of makeup it is, which is cool. Um, and that was four pounds. This pile next to me is gonna fall over in a minute. And then to go with that, I then got the matching bigger sort of would you call it a wash bag? Again, it's got two compartments, one compartment there, one compartment there, and that was six pounds for that one. Annoyingly, you can't put one inside the other because it's not big enough. Then the next item is back to the magical ones. So I have shown you before, if you've watched my other Primark haul videos, I have shown you other versions of these they keep coming out with different versions of coasters so i've bought the let that's upside down so i've bought the latest version of the harry potter coasters i don't know what you can see reflected in that hopefully just my camera um so you've got griffith there we go that's a slightly weird angle but you get the gist you've got gryffindor and slytherin coasters and then you've got hufflepuff and ravenclaw so they were four pound for four. So it's one pound a coaster, which not too bad. Then the last item in this bag is a pair of Hogwarts flip flops. So they've got Hogwarts crest all over them and sparkly gold straps. Um, I'm a size medium in these because I've actually got a size five foot. Um, and they were two pounds for those bargain so that was my first i nearly dropped it that was my first trip to kingston which i think i actually went there to go and return stuff did i return stuff yeah so i went to return stuff and then ended up buying more stuff um which wasn't really the plan but when i go into primark i never actually have a plan i always I always like to wander around the whole of Primark because I don't want to miss out on anything. So I have a wander. Also, because it's just a normal Primark, it's not like the Oxford Street one where they've shoved all the Harry Potter stuff in one section. You actually have to go and find all of the Harry Potter stuff, which is not what I do at all. No. No. Um, so then we have my next trip to Primark. Same Primark, different week. Actually, it was a week later, exactly. Um, I had gone with the plan. I don't even know if this stuff is actually interesting. I don't know how much of it is Harry Potter, so I might just whiz through it. Um, I, again, went to return stuff, came back and bought stuff. Um, so another... These are all in previously bought Primark bags. So this is my My Little Pony Primark tote bag. Um, I've actually got two bags. For this visit which makes it even worse um so as i said i'm trying to get a bit more of a summer wardrobe because suddenly last week the sun started shining we had a weekend of sun and i pretty much stayed inside because i don't know what to wear when i'm going out so i bought this which is just a blue kind of tribal would you even call it tribal geometric patterned dress i think it's a dress i always look at things and i'm like is it a play suit or is it a dress no it is actually a dress so i bought that which was six pounds i don't know if it'll fit i've still got to try it on so i may end up actually returning that <laughs> but we shall see um i also bought they're boring that's a pair of black cropped leggings you don't need to see that i bought um i'm going on holiday um over summer and I bought myself a pair of flip flops, which have which are silver, and they've got these silver palm trees all over, and they're in nice pastel blue, and I love pastel blue. And I think I bought them because last year in Primark I bought myself like a pastel blue sort of um, 
frilly it's kind of a frilly top sort of off the shoulder number so i bought that and i thought all oh, that color will go with those uh what else did i buy oh they were they were two pounds those flip flops i do love their flip flops they have like a 90p range of flip flops it's insane um the next thing i bought was a i can't decide which side i like to show things on is a just a tan a simple tan faux leather handbag um because i've been i prefer to use one with a long strap that you can just put across your shoulders um i have been using one that's like a one shoulder thing and i really hate it um i don't know why i haven't bought one sooner i suppose every time i go shopping i just forget and that was eight pounds for that one so it's got lots of pockets on the front to store stuff and it's got a big pocket inside which has a little pocket inside that um then that's another pair of cropped leggings in a different colour, so you don't need to see those. And we've got, and then finally, well, I've got two other things, but I'll show you them later in another one. Um, I was wearing on Sunday, Saturday, when I went to Primark, I was wearing a dress with watermelons all over it. And I saw these shoes, which were coral. They're kind of faux converse -y looking shoes. I saw these, they kind of matched my dress. And so I thought, oh, well, this morning I did actually struggle to think what shoes to wear with this dress. Um, so now I have these to wear with that dress. Um, sorry, I've got another sticker stuck on me and I can't get it off. Um, so I bought that pair of shoes. And they, they were £6 for those. So I've got them in a size 5. There. Um, I did buy a pair of their just one pound sunglasses, but I actually took them out and I wore them. So I have bought another pair in the next lot. So I will show you them then. Um, and the last thing I bought, which I've ended up buying a duplicate today, actually, just because I, I couldn't remember if I'd bought it or not. And so I bought another one today just in case. So I can return that. Um, they have bought out another set of pins. It's another set of like all four house pins with a bit of variety between them. So the set that they actually had there in this one was the Gryffindor set. So I know I'm not a Gryffindor, but on this, there is actually only one. You could realistically, you could say there is actually only one pin that is Gryffindor specific on this set. So it's a set of six. It's three pounds. So you're paying 50p a pin. Um, so that's the set all together um i won't take it out actually just in case i'm going to return it but i'll try and show you through the thing i'll probably take better photos afterwards and then post them so you've got this one that says um it's really bad it's so fuzzy maybe it's because my face is in it um so it says quidditch at hogwarts then you've got here you've got a little broom You've got the Gryffindor, which is actually upside down. So you've got the Gryffindor crest there. You've got um, what looks like a like Quidditch cup with two cross brooms on it. You've got the word Seeker with sort of red crystals in it. And then finally, you've got the Snitch. So that's the Gryffindor version of that. But I thought I'm going to get that anyway because it's got five other really nice pins. Um... But as I said, I think I have actually duplicated that. Um, so that was the first load. I'm trying to think if that's the only Harry Potter thing that I actually bought in this visit, which is oddly rare for me. But the problem is I've I've bought everything. That 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 it's not really a problem. It's that's why I sometimes I do. That's why I tend to leave it two months to do a Primark haul because I know that I tend to have a visit to Oxford Street, the Oxford Street store, then have a visit to my local one, maybe pick up a few other bits and then that's it. I've then got everything and I'm only visiting my local store so it's all the same stuff. Um, that's why it's usually two months but I've been to my local store and Oxford Street this time. So the second bag from the Weekend Just Gone's trip Oh, there is more Harry Potter in here. So this is, again, just a summer outfit to add to my collection. So I've got a dress like this already in different colours. So I bought this one because it was just really nice in this sort of 
light tealy turquoisey colour with cherry blossom on it which is another flower that I absolutely adore. Um, so dandelions and cherry blossoms. Both of them fall off trees and get stuck on your head. Um, well dandelions obviously don't but they still blow everywhere. So I got that. Um, I've actually got two of these because I wasn't sure what size I'd be. They're, this is £13 um, because I wasn't sure what size I would be. So I've got two of those and I'll try them on. Then we have... Oh, we do have another Harry Potter thing. Oh, good. <laughs> so they are doing... Last year when I went on holiday, they didn't have Harry Potter beach towels. So I bought an aerial one. So I bought a Disney towel. Now this year... They do have Harry Potter towels, so I'm going to just roll it up because it's not all going to fit. So it's black with gold stars on it, and then it says Hogwarts, and then it's got the Hogwarts crest. I can't see what I'm doing, so it's got all the Hogwarts crest on it. Then their motto, and then I think at the bottom you just get some more stars. Lots and lots of gold stars, and that's it. So that's their towel. And that was £7. It's £7 for a massive beach towel. That's huge. So I got that in the homeware section. I then got... We are down to the bottom of this bag. Don't fret. So then again, for the summer wardrobe, I got these, which are rosy kind of gold flip-flops in a size 5, and they were £4. So they've got like... Crystal, little fake crystals there they look quite smart with this little metallic Primark label so I got them in rosy kind of gold and in silver so I bought both colours I think they had it in another colour as well like white or something but yes so I just bought those colours so that was everything that I bought this weekend just gone as I said I went to do a return and then ended up buying loads of stuff um and yeah not at all that harry pottery that lot put them away but not. oh and i didn't show you so this is my other primark tote bag so it's my little robot i love this tote bag he's got my little robot on it i love him he's so cute so then Went to, uh, nipped at lunchtime. I was up in London this morning. So at lunchtime, I used my lunch break and I went um, to the Oxford Street Primark and then came home again. And so I will start with my little bag of goodies. So again, this is in another Primark tote bag um, that I bought a while ago. It's my stripy Mickey Mouse one. And so in here, I bought quite a lot of little bits I did buy some big bits as well so the first thing I actually grabbed when I went in there is they've got prime pajamas even that are specific to each house so what's quite nice is they've just rearranged a little bit and so you've kind of they've grouped everything by house so you've got a whole selection of Gryffindor a whole section of Ravenclaw etc etc although I had to walk past Gryffindor Slytherin Hufflepuff and then got round to Ravenclaw eventually so on these we've got it says wisdom intelligence uh, creativity and originality on those so it's just a long it's a t-shirt and a trouser pajama set um, and that was if I can hold the label that was 10 pounds that one I have a vague feeling that I have that set already but I will check this is the problem I buy so many sets I'm like oh that looks new and then I realize it's not um, then Oh, so this is what I bought. So I bought two more pairs of these sunglasses because they were a pound, which is ridiculous. So they're a pound for these. Um, so I bought another two pairs. So I bought one on Saturday and I bought two pairs today purely because I bought them on Saturday because it was really sunny and I didn't have any sunglasses on me. So I bought them and... Then I thought to myself, actually, these are really nice. I wasn't sure about the bright pinkish colour to start with, but then my mate was like, it really complements your hair. I don't know how bright pink can complement sort of Albany hair, but yeah, she said it actually really suited me. So I thought, okay, I'm going to go and get two more just in case, because they're a pound. So if I break them this summer, I've got spares for next summer. Always thinking ahead. 
Um, so that was that. There is another pair in here somewhere, which I currently can't find. So I will... Oh, no, there we go. So there's the other pair. So I bought... I've got three of these now. But what's quite cool is they come... Even though they're a pound, they come with this little, like... It's just basic, but it's a little sleeve to put them in. Um, I bought a lot of trinkety bits, I realised this time. So the first thing I bought, I have seen this around, but I kind of, I've put off buying it because it's a keyring set that is, she's a catch, he's a keeper. It's three pounds for this set. I've put it off purely because I, at the moment I don't have another half. So I was a bit like, is it meant to be for like a couple to have? Or what? So I thought, well, what does it matter? I'm going to get it and I'm going to use the She's a Catch. <laughs> People may not agree with that, but I'm going to still put it on my key ring because I don't care. Um, then I got a lot of the same thing, but different. Try and find the other one. So there are four of these in the set. They're three pounds each. This is a brand new release this week. I did see one of them in the Kingston store, um, but I've now found them in London. So we've got these are little rubber key rings. They're quite bendy. Rubber key rings, three pound each. They have in the range, they've got Ron Weasley. Obviously, Harry Potter. He's spinning. Why are you spinning? Harry Potter, we have Dumbledore. He's not wearing glasses though. That's a bit weird, but he's cute. And we have Hermione. So we have the trio and Dumbledore. And I think they're really cute. I have seen that pattern, uh, that design of the kind of cartoony ones. And I really like that design of the cartoony ones. Um, I've seen them. My friend bought me wrapping paper from the studio tours with that cartoony style on for my birthday present last year. Um, so, and I think you can get stickers of them at the studio tours. So that is actually a properly, that's a designed one for the studio tours as well. So that is really good. And I'm trying to find the other thing that goes with them. So then what they've also done, as well as the key rings, they've also done a pin set. So it's a six set of pins, which are three pounds. So again, 50p a pin. So you've got the same Harry, Hermione, Ron and Dumbledore. And then in addition to that, you've got this little Voldemort and you've got little Draco there. Sorry, it's really reflective. If you want me to actually post good fit pictures of this, I can do afterwards. Um, then, so this is what I meant by earlier I said I had, a du had bought a duplicate because I bought all four of the different house things so again there's the Gryffindor one with the six on there so Gryffindor kind of comes in a sort of goldy rosy gold kind of color you've got see some of actually they are quite duplicated I'm now realizing they've all got so in all of them they've got the Quidditch at Hogwarts and the broomstick by the look of it so they've all got that um, the difference on the Hufflepuff one is that you've got so you've got the Gryffindor at Hog uh, Quidditch at Hogwarts and the broom you then got a slightly different snitch to the last one you've got a quaffle you've got a pin that says chaser is that the right way out no I'm holding it upside down chaser and then you've got the Hufflepuff pin so that's the Hufflepuff one. Then on the Slytherin one, you've got, again, the Quidditch at Hogwarts and the broom. You've then got here, it says Keeper. You've got the Quaffle again, but you've got two Bludger Beta Bats crossed there, and then you've got the Slytherin pin. So we've got Seeker Chaser Keeper. And then on the last one, it's a shame actually, I'm just reading them and you've got two lots of chaser. So you don't actually have a beater anywhere, um, which is a shame. 
then on the Ravenclaw again it doesn't mix it up that all that much so you've got the Quidditch at Hogwarts the broom the Ravenclaw silver raven which I don't like um you've got the crossed beta bats again chaser but in a different color and then the Ravenclaw pin so it's kind of samey kind of different so I might do those for some sort of giveaway down the line maybe I don't really get enough YouTube through traffic at the moment to do any sort of giveaway but that is an option further down the line if more people like and subscribe to my channel um anyway the next thing or I'll just give them to my mates one of the two then the next thing is a little while ago they did do a range of tote bags they've now bought out a new range which are a slightly different design they've bought these out in all four houses so this is the Ravenclaw one there I'm hoping you can see it and then on the corner it says property of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry and that was three pounds for that tote bag so let's see I bought quite a lot of little bits lots and lots of little bits um, and then I bought another tote bag which is not Harry Potter related but I just randomly spotted it and it's pink and it's got uh, Mickey Mouse's head on it in sequins so I couldn't say no and that was three pounds as well for that one nearly there nearly there i'm getting to like my favorite mm, my second favorite item so this one again i think i might have this one but i don't know it's a limited edition it's a photo framed print and you know how i love my photo framed prints and it is proclamation number 27 any student found in possession of the magazine the quibbler will be expelled Sorry, I did confuse face then because I was trying to work out what that actually said. Because in my head, as I was saying it, it didn't make sense in English. Uh, that was £5. And then the last thing. So this is, this is my second favourite thing. And I will actually use this on a night out or something. It's, it's a little like, it's a clutchy kind of wallet big purse thing there but it is meant to look like a little trunk on the Hogwarts Express so it's got the Hogwarts crest on there which is like an embroidered badge it's got another sort of embroidered here that says please return to Hogwarts Express um, and it looks like a little case and the this is so this is a limited edition which uh, that frame was also a limited edition which I think means that it's only available at the Oxford Street store possibly so this was £10 and if I show you on the key ring it says nine and three quarters so I love that I think that is my second favorite item from this so let me just put all this back in and then I will show you the grand finale which is what I actually posted on my Instagram channel So I'm going to have to do at least one return from this, which is good. So I can return three pounds worth of pins. <laughs> Every little helps. Oh, too many pairs of sunglasses. So there we go. That was all of that. Now we have the final thing is in up here in this big bag here. So I saw this online thought i'd really want it and then saw it there so bought it um i didn't want i got it in this nice primark london bag which has a foam box on it and big ben on it so it's very very london-esque but the item in here is it's an H. Potter carry-on suitcase. So it's got the little corners in brown there. It's, it's a four-wheel one. I've never had a four-wheel suitcase in my life. So it's got four wheels on it. And it says H. Potter. And I was very excited when I saw this. So I wheeled it around. And it's got... Uh, 
it's got a handle here and it's got a pull up thing here yeah i got exceedingly excited oh there's labels everywhere there we go um so i wheeled this round the whole of primark <laughs> um just to test it you know had to test the thing oh i can't put it back up where it was so i bought that and wheeled it round but the reason why I got it in this really big bag is because I was a bit like, I don't want to be wheeling it round the underground and getting it damaged in five seconds. So I was a bit like, mm, let's try and bag it. And at the till I went to, they didn't have any of their normal massive like paper bags. So I was like, have you got anything else? anything at all so he did sell me that but i was like that's fine because i don't i'd rather pay two pounds for this very nice london plastic bag rather than getting the carry-on case battered by the underground in five seconds so yes that was everything so that was the oxford street and my local local store um yeah if you liked this video hit the like button if you liked it enough that you'd want to see more of this video not of this particular video more videos like this i will learn to talk one day um and not be flustered <laughs> um, if you'd like to see more like this then hit the subscribe button i don't know why i'm putting up there there is no subscribe button there it's down there depends where you're viewing this i don't know um but yeah Hit the subscribe button, hit like if you like this video. Um, send me any comments that you want to make. Um, and that is all from me and I will see you in my next video. Thanks as always for watching. See you later. Bye.